Hey everybody, today we have Last Heroes by Eric Jamal and Roman Gasnut. Monster Hunters POW Comics first issue, a brand new exclusive adventure in full color. Approved by the Gaming Code Authority. Normal price $9.99. Clearance price $3.97. By Ludonite. Ludonite? Ludonite? Games. It's a card game. Beast Team. Stop the portal as just open. Stop. This is an emergency. Stop calling all heroes. Stop. Equip yourself. Kill all the monsters. Stop. Try to close the portal. Stop. Hit. Bam, bam. Pow, pow. In all kinds of different languages. A4 cooperation hand management games with only one winner. It's a cooperation game. It's a forced cooperation game. But there's only, there can only be one winner. Last Heroes versus the Crazy Monster Creatures. Report from Team Beast Classified Fails. Top Secret Classified. So we're going to unbox it today. Step one, pull all this crazy packaging off. Whoa. Whoa. I'm going to teach y'all how to unbox something today. Step one, you got to take all this crazy packages off. Step two, you got to open the box. Ah. Uh, and yes, you have to say ah uh, when you open the box. Here's the rules in, um, I think English. Here's the rules in, like, French. And here's the rules in, like, Spanish. So, uh, it's got a lot of rules. So it's got, like, three rule books here. Because it's in three different languages. Hey, even the rules are in, like, the rules are, like, in, um, like a comic book style right here. This is kind of cool. Last Heroes. See the rules? They're like in comic book style. That's pretty cool. That's some, um, going above and, uh, beyond the, uh, that's some really going with theme. Artifacts. Like I said, they got the rules in different languages. So this one's like in French. It's, you know, the same rules. But in French. So we got like three rule books here. And we haven't even gotten to the games yet. And we, cause we still looking at the rules because I'm a thorough unboxer. I'm a thorough unboxer. So if you don't like seeing certain parts, hey, just press the skip button, yay. And, you know, depending on your, your, um, depending on your, what you have it on skip, you'll skip certain amounts. Anyways. 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 So here we got some cutouts. We got this awesome skull. We got this skull cutout. We got other various different little cutouts here. They look like they're possibly player boards and whatnot. 
we have two sets of the exact same one. Okay, we have more than two sets of the exact same one. So we got one, two, three, four sets of pretty much the exact same cutouts. For the most five sets of the exact same cutouts. Okay, then we have this cutout. We have Echo. Echo, Echo, Echo. These look like gun hilts. Guns of some kind. And here looks like some kind of hit point dice of some kind here, up here. Not dice, but uh, you know, like hit point trackers. Then we have, of course, we have silent, blind, ace, and tank. Those are some of our hero characters. Then we have these. Been cool if it ca cooler if it came with actual like miniatures of those heroes, but it came with cardboard cutouts. So here's our various different stands and you know things to put together. Has this nice little box insert which has this interesting art, which there's a little art all over the box and the packaging and all that good stuff. And of course it says Last Heroes right there. And of course we have two decks of cards here. Which probably have some lovely artwork on them. So it's a comic book board game that I don't think is based on any actual comic book. <laughs> so the theme is done like really well. Let's see what kind of cards we have here. It's like crossbows, so we got like weapon cards here. A lot of them are, you know, the same crossbow. Crossbow. We got a flamethrower, burning it down, burning it down, burning monsters to the ground. We got like a sniper rifle here. So we got different weapons. We got like some kind of super powered hand. Thing. maybe it's a, so you, you know you got like lightning powers through your hands or maybe it's because you're wearing a glove or something but anyway those are the cards and if you notice they have these symbols on the bottom so you got electricity fire no other different things this looks like this looks like some of the monsters you have to take out. I can freaking open to take something. Check out these monster creatures. Monster creatures. So this one we have like a werewolf looking type creature. That's got like medieval armor on. We got several of them. So those must be like the soldiers. And here's we got like a weird demon valkyrie looking creature like a harpy not as many of those 
Then here we got like a I forget the name of this creature, but um, it's in mythology. It's a creature that has a tail like a snake, wings like an eagle hawk or something, has all four like a lion or cat or, or dog or whatever creature, but has like antlers like a demon or like a deer or whatever. And then has like a panther, lion, cheetah, whatever face. So it's pretty interesting here. Uh, see, even though... Oh man, check it out. These monster cards have, have this like picture of a monster on the other side. This is like, uh, you know, the mentor, minotaur... This is kind of like a minotaur creature from like, you know, Jason and, you know, the, the Hercules or Jason or whatever different stories of the different individuals who went into the uh, maze labyrinth. Then here we have like a witch, witch monster creature. That looks kind of like she maybe can control certain elements. In this case, it looks like she can control rocks and uh, minerals, like kind of like Magneto. Then we have like a giant spider here, like Sh uh, Sheila from Sheila from Lord of the Rings. You know, she was alive. Then we have like an elemental rock creature here, which. Is shaping itself from various different other rocks. We have like a centaur here that fights with with flaming hooves and has an axe, and he's got like a flaming mane. That's pretty cool. And then, of course, looks like we have this those same monsters again. All five of the six of those same monsters. We have a. Uh, Again. Then this looks like Hades' dog, Severus. Um, you know, the three-headed dog. Hades' dog that guards the underworld. A Severus creature. Uh, okay. Then here looks like we have some kind of female vampire demon creature then here it looks like we have a medusa type creature and then here it looks like we have a fallen angel dragon demon fem female demon luciferian type creature then here it looks like we have a super giant dragon creature like from Lord of the Rings or some other Nazgul dragon creature maybe. Then here it looks like we have some kind of weird alien thing that looks kind of like the... It's like a giant insect bee creature... alien creature thing from like a god's... That would be like in a Godzilla or Kaiju movie. Then here's another giant Kaiju creature. Which looks like this one might be um, kind of a uh, Lovecraftian uh, type creature. Then here we have like a super giant snake creature. Super giant snake. Then here it looks like we have a a uh, beholder. 
I mean, that's what they call them in Dungeons and Dragons. They call this creature a beholder. It also looks like the giant eye creature from, like, the Doom series. Where, you, you know, that giant eye comes out at you and you gotta, you know, blow it... Sh blow it to hell. But aren't you in hell? Anyway, we got some more weapons. This is, like, standard pistol, but it's different cartridge car cartridge way to shoot so we have the last hero's weapon cards and uh, monsters do the mush the graveyard's mesh do the mesh the monster mesh do the mesh so that's all in the game five heroes I think what you do is I think these go together like this. Maybe. Okay, that's the scoring wheel. I think it goes like in the teeth of the uh, character, the character's scoring wheel. Um, Then you have the Joker wheel, which is this Joker. Mm -hmm. So they all connect and make a. Uh... I'm gonna make one and show you what it looks like. So here's how the things is. You have the two guns here. Joker wheel here. The point wheel, I guess, here. And they all fit in between this piece. So this is like your player card basically. And each one has their own card. This is blinds card. So that's how they work. You have to literally build all of these. So after you build those, you'll have these five heroes. You have Echo, Silent, Blind, Ace, and Tank. I don't feel like building those right now. So I'm not going to build these big old things. But anyway... I'll build them later. I'm gonna lose all the dang pieces. Build them. Darn, I just dropped two of them on the floor. Because I'll find them later. But anyway, remember God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Keep on gaming. Like, comment, subscribe, share.
Jesus loves you, Jesus God, Jesus Lord, Jesus King, Jesus Ruler, everything. Have a great, wonderful day. You should fit back in the box. See, it looks like you probably put all those player shields after you build them. Put them back in the box like that. And of course you have heroes and the car other cards can go back and the other things can go back in the box like up there. Everything fits in the box good. Later, guys and girls.